What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today I am going to show you 3 collision methods. It's going to be a very easy build to follow, so let's get started. Alright, so the first method that I am going to show you is going to be the simplified box collision method. So in this case I have this chair mesh, right, very simple, let me open this chair mesh up, as you can see it looks like this. So let me just go and click on remove collision to start as new. And right now, this chair doesn't have any collision. If I press play, I can go through it, right? Even though it does have the collision presets uh, set as default, right? But it doesn't have any real collision itself, right? So we can go through it, right? So there's a very simple method that we can use to add collision to this chair. And it's gonna also save a lot of performance because it's gonna be very simple. So if we go up into collision, we can add these shapes, which are simplified collisions. And in this case, we can add a sphere capsule box. Normally, you would use more boxes, so let me just click this. And there we go, we have a simple box around this chair. And there we go. If I go and you save, and press play, you can see that now the chair has collision. But as you may notice, it is a box. So right now I'm colliding with the chair, even though I'm not very close to it. Now, in some cases, if this chair was smaller and it was just a prop around the level, it will be more than enough and it will save a lot of you know performance and resources because as you can see, it's literally just a box. And that's it. And it's very important for our assets to be optimized, okay, especially for collisions, which are pretty expensive. So this is a very quick method of just generating the collision and it being, you know, uh, simple and performant. And you watch magically detect the bounce of the object and just do it. And you can use more uh, spheres or capsules. So, you know, it depends to you. And there we go. That's the first method. So now let's jump into the second method so let me go ahead and go up here and remove the collision so the second method is going to be using there we go um down into this uh settings well actually it's, it's not down okay you will not see by default in the details panel so we need to go up into um collision and do an auto convex collision and now we have this new window and this will automatically create a collision of you know, let's say medium uh, quality around our mesh. It won't be very very precise, but it will be pretty precise and we can you know change the precision here So we leave this as default and just press apply there we go It has generated as you can see a collision around our chair now This is way more you know accurate of what we had before right? It doesn't eat exactly a box it now takes the shape of our you know, chair, and we can kind of jump on top and everything like that. We couldn't do that before, and now we can. But, you know, it isn't very, very precise. For some things, as mentioned, imagine that you need to do some right cast to detect if exactly if you, uh, you know, hit this or this. And in this case, maybe you could, you know, kind of shoot here, and you will hit a box where actually it's empty, right? Uh, so, depends on your precise uh, and accuracy this will change. Uh, now, we can also go, let me remove it, and just increase the hull count, you know, vertex, whatever you want, and you can see that it will kind of add more, let's say, polygons uh, in, in, in speech marks to the collision, and we can get different results. So we can just click defaults, and that's it. So that's another way of adding collision to our meshes. But there is one last one, okay, which is gonna be very, very accurate. So if we now go, and completely remove the collision, okay? So as you can see, I removed the collision. It's, there's no box or any convex collision. We just have the mesh itself. I can go basically into the details panel of the mesh, okay? I can go down into the collision settings and a part of having the presets and all that stuff, if I go into the uh, collision complexity, we have these other options. And we actually have this one, which is use complex collision as simple. And boom, as you can see, this has created an extremely accurate collision for our mesh. As you can see, it is the most accurate that we can get, okay? So it's not so simple as the box or so kind of mid like our auto convex collision. This is actually per polygon. So it's basically using a complex collision as simple and uh, it basically is, you know, making it very, very accurate for our chair and you know, in conclusion, is the most accurate and, I guess, easiest to do, but, of course, the more performance-intensive, so you need to be careful with this. 
but I'm gonna show you guys, okay, one last um, method as a bonus, okay, I know that it was three, we already covered three, but I'm too good of a developer, and I'm gonna showcase another extra one, okay, so let me quickly just go and convert this into a blueprint, uh, so let me just create a blueprint class, actor, BP, chair, right, and I'm gonna head and open this blueprint, and let's say that we have this uh, static mesh, which is the uh, chair itself, and I'm gonna assign here the chair, okay, so we have this here, now, what we can do is basically go to the collision presets that this has no collision and now this chair will not have collision. But we might want to only add collisions into certain parts. Well, what we can do is as childs of our chair is basically add box collisions and move them around. As you can see, this method can be pretty nice if you want to basically control exactly where you want to place your collisions so maybe you want one here and then you want another one down there right so if i duplicate this put this here and change this right and there we go we now have two different collisions one kind of, of the uh, part where you put the back i don't know how it's called <laughs> and then where you sit right and you can kind of you know uh, basically make your collisions a bit how you're you like and that was kind of, of the bonus so that's it guys for Okay, we have with the bonus collision methods covered on how to, you know, apply collision into your meshes. If this video was helpful, I would really appreciate it. You could like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos and tutorials, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials, check out my Patreon YouTube members. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.